Welcome to our Trojan Label T3 OPX tech support tutorial on how to install Zytron Navigator RIP software. In this video, we'll show you how to download and install the T3 OPX RIP software. Please make sure your system meets the following requirements. Before installing the RIP software, we must first prepare Windows. Please note, the T3 OPX printer should be set with an IP address and primed with ink before starting the RIP software installation. First, let's make sure the user account who will be using the software has local administrator rights. Click on the Windows logo, click on username, and click on change account settings. Under the user account name, you can see if the account is set up as an administrator. If not, contact your system administrator to create a new user or change the account to an administrator. We'll temporarily set user account control or UAC to never notify. Click on the search bar on the taskbar and type in security and maintenance. Open security and maintenance. Click on security to expand the menu options. Under user account control, select change settings and hit yes to allow the app to make changes. Move the slider all the way down to never notify and hit OK. Click yes to make changes. Please note, if a domain is managing them, contact an IT person to disable the software before the installation. Go back to security and maintenance and under network firewall, click on view in Windows security. Click on the network that has active next to it. Turn the toggle to off under Microsoft Defender Firewall. And now we'll temporarily disable any antivirus software and see if the antivirus is being managed by Windows or a third party software. If the antivirus software is managed by your IT person, you'll have to contact them to disable it. Go back to Security and Maintenance under Virus Protection, select View in Windows Security, click on Manage Providers under Who's Protecting Me. Under Antivirus, select the Antivirus and click Open App. Click on Manage Settings. Toggle the Real-Time Protection to Off. After completing the software installation, the following folders services, and ports must have exclusions set in the antivirus program. If there is no antivirus, then ignore. Download the RIP software by going to the link found inside the RIP software dongle case. Open and extract the zip file. Open the installation folder. Open the navigator hhrinstaller.exe file. If the Windows Protected Your PC dialog pops up, click on More Info and select Run Anyway. Click Next to continue. Read the license agreement and select I accept and then Next. Type the RIP software license key and hit Next. Select the desired installation path or click Next to use the default path, which is recommended. If you want multiple users on the PC to be able to use the RIP software, select anyone. If only the currently logged in user will be using the RIP software, select Only Me and hit Next. Click Next to confirm installation. When prompted, enter the IP address of the T3 OPX printer and hit Next. Note. This can be found by going to the touchscreen of the printer and going to the Home tab Settings, Network, Current IP Address. You'll receive a message when the installation is complete. Click the Finish button and exit the Setup Wizard. Before you launch the RIP software, make sure the USB key that was included with the shipment has been inserted into the USB slot on your computer. Double-click on the Launcher icon in your desktop to launch the software. 
the launcher will open two applications, the Navigator server and the Navigator client. When you first open the Navigator client, you'll be asked to log in. In the Navigator login window, use user with a capital U as the username and leave the password field blank. Select automatic login and remember password and hit OK. Please note, the Navigator client can sometimes open before the Navigator server and trying to log in before the server is open will result in a fail attempt. We can verify if the server is up and running by scrolling all the way to the bottom of the server window and ensuring that we see the line that says WF action render action has switched to online. Now that the server and the client are up and running, we can open the DFE by double clicking on the DFE icon found on your desktop. The DFE will launch through your default browser. And that's it. You've successfully installed Zytron Navigator RIP software onto your Trojan Label T3 OPX. Take a look at our other T3 OPX tech support videos if you want to learn more about repair, maintenance, or operation. Or visit us online at astronovaproductid.com.